everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house at night. I have been working on this darn recipe book all day, and it's been taking me forever. So uh, I'm just going to put together a quick little video here of some photos of me. This first one is in my dad's fireman gear, sitting in his fire truck back when they lived in Tennessee. I don't know, I think this is about 10, 15 years ago. I am glad he texted me this. It is so wonderful. And this next one, oh my goodness, this is like 20, 30 years ago. Still a nurse, wearing my scrubs, looking all purty. Oh, and I cut my hair short. Look at that, look at that short hair. Oh, and here is one of me and the girls at a metal concert. Yep. And uh, me and my friend outside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Me at another concert in the rain. And me and two friends, three sheets to the wind. Oh, and check this next one out. These are green beans that I grew out of containers in my freaking garden outside on my patio when I lived in an apartment. And now I can't even get the first bean. Well, I mean, I got a few small beans, but um, they're pretty, pretty chintzy looking. Yeah, I know. I'm filming in portrait, not landscape. Oh, well, it's just a photo. Anyhow, let's look at some flies. Look at that big old fly. Is it going to get down in there? See that thing moving around down in there? That's a big fly. These things are great. But you know what? You're right. They are stinky. I don't care. Look at that. Look at that poor, big, huge fly. Down in the soup. It's going to die. Come on, guy. You know you want to go in there. Just go in there. Your brother's there. He needs help. Whoa. Whoa. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? I don't know. I don't know. I could sit here all day and watch this. Look, look. There's one going in. There's one going in. Can you see it? Oh, it went in. It went in. Yup. And there's still that other one up there. Oh, it cut back out. Oh my goodness. Come on. Go down in there. <laughs> I'm so crazy. This pretty little butterfly has been keeping me company on the porch for hours. Well, not hours. Maybe about 30 minutes. It just keeps buzzing around me. It almost landed on my shoulder once. Oh, where's it going to go? Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh, it's going to come land on my shoulder again. Haha, <laughs> it is. It's like right. It's on my walking stick now. Look how birdy. What are you doing, Mr. Butterfly? Or Miss Butterfly. Come on. Let's see if I can get it to get on my finger. Will it? Come on. Aw, close. <laughs> It landed on me. Check it out. And what's going to be in this recipe book, you might ask? Well, all of these things. Some cranberry chutney, some clam chowder, poor man's clam scampi, that's going to be in there. Uh, yep, some Cajun rice and clams, some hobo fish, apple pie, cherry pie, some sweet corn and black bean relish that you can put into different things and some salmon patties but I did want to show you this email that I got greetings my beloved I am writing to you with tears in my eyes and she respects and trusts me and blah 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 her basically her story is that her father was killed in a plane crash in Kenya he was some highfalutin uh, political official or something like that and well I guess what happened is her wicked stepmother that she tearfully explains to me and her uncle want to take away all of her you know property and treasures and whatnot and so she's asking my help to be able to deposit this money that she found in a briefcase of her father she found her her father's briefcase and now um, she has all this money, but she she doesn't know how to spend it because it needs to be deposited in a United States bank account. So she goes on and on, tries to convince me that, 
you know, she's a good person and that she trusts me and she's tearful and blah, blah, blah and wants to know, can I help her? So basically what she's going to want me to do is give her my bank account information and probably eventually send her a big bunch of money for transfer fees. So I don't know. I think I should reply. Hello, my dear. I'm anxious to help you with your situation. But how will I know it's you <laughs> and not your vicious, vicious, yeah, I better spell that right, vicious family responding. I don't think that's a fair question. In faith and hope, I thought that that was a fair, fair question. And that's a nice touch at the end. Hmm, what name should I put? I, it has to match kind of with my email address for this account. Arthur M. S. Yes, S. Am I going to send it? Am I going to send it? Heck yes, I'm going to send it. This is a 419 scam. They're old school. I'm going to see what she says and I'll get back with you. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.